Welcome to Film Rants. Today I'll be recapping the horror film Frozen. And no, not the Disney movie Frozen. The movie starts off with three friends, Parker, Dan, and Joe, at a ski resort heading on the ski lift. So we have Dan and Parker, they're dating, and Joe is just third wheeling it. He's kind of jealous of their relationship. Anyways, the first few minutes is just a montage of them snowboarding and skiing down the hills, and Parker pretty much sucks at snowboarding. After having a pizza break, the three try to go for a night ski right before closing time. So as they go up the snowy mountain, the chairlift suddenly comes to a halt. Thinking that it's just stopping temporarily, the friends share jokes. So the employee apparently turned off the ski lift because he thought everyone was off the ski lift and it was time to close. So as all the chairlift lights turn off, they realize they're in deep crap. To make matters worse, the ski resort doesn't open back up until the next week, so if they don't find a solution soon, they could freeze to death. The stupid thing is, is that they don't even have their cell phones. This could have been resolved if they had their cell phones along, but then again, this is just a movie. Anyways, an employee drives down with his snowplow truck and somehow doesn't see them at all. They threw their skis and their snow gear at the truck, but he still doesn't notice and turns around. Now it's the middle of the night and the temperature is quickly dropping. Also, there's a snowstorm. But anyways, they realize if they are just up there all week, they're going to die. So one of them needs to make a decision to, to jump off the ski lift. The boyfriend, Dan, decides to jump feet first, breaking both of his legs. So with the bones sticking out from his legs, he can barely move. So we have Dan with two broken legs. He can't go get help because he can't move at all. And then we have Parker and Joe still on the ski lift. There's not much they can do because if they jump, they're just going to break their legs too. After a while, they hear wolves in the distance. A wolf starts to growl at the guy but gets scared away. All of a sudden, a pack of wolves come back and eat the boyfriend. So it's the next morning. Parker wakes up to find that her hand is frozen to the handle. This part is so disgusting, so if you don't want to watch, turn your head or fast forward. Anyways, surprisingly, both are still alive despite them having severe frostbite. So later in the day, Joe decides to climb the cable to get near a ladder that's behind them. As he's climbing, the wolves return and wait for him to fall. He finally makes it to the ladder and slowly climbs down. Once he gets to the ground, he grabs one of the snowboards and sleds down the slope to get help. So it's now the next morning and Joe still hasn't returned. So Parker's wondering, wondering where the heck he's at and she's just slowly freezing to death. But anyways, a loose bolt on the chairlift falls out, causing the chairlift to snap off the cable. So Parker's just barely hanging on, but she decides she can jump. At least she's a little bit closer to the ground, so she probably won't break both of her legs like her boyfriend did. But anyways, she jumps, falls. Luckily, she only breaks one of her legs. As she slides herself down the mountain, she finds the wolves eating Joe. So unfortunately, he didn't make it. But anyways, she keeps sliding down. She finally makes it down to the mountain near a highway. And a man in a van approaches her and takes her to the hospital. So luckily, she lives. Unfortunately, her friend and her boyfriend didn't make it. But... But anyways, that's Frozen summed up in about four minutes. It was a pretty good movie, but comment down below what you thought about it. I actually watched this movie for free on YouTube, so if you just type in Frozen 2010 full movie, YouTube has it as a free movie, so you can go ahead and watch that. But anyways, thank you so much for watching.